I've been back in the Netherlands now for almost two and a half weeks. Coffee shops in the Netherlands, they don't sell coffee or sometimes they do sell coffee, but you can buy weed and join. Cauliflower, cauliflower, cauliflower. Fun fact, I used to live in Amsterdam for like two years or something. Hello, welcome to this new video. It's been a while, at least it feels like it's been a while. You might think, where are you? I've been back in the Netherlands now for almost two and a half weeks. I'm here for a reason because my grandfather was almost 80 years old and he didn't feel so well the last weeks and then yeah. I had to go back to the Netherlands and unfortunately he passed away a little bit more than one week ago. I had a really good connection with my grandfather, especially a few years ago. And I live of course in Bali, so you're really far away from your family. But it was quite hard for me to lose him and especially for my grandmother and my family. But yeah, it was really heavy for me, but we can't do anything about it anymore. This is part of life. I learned a lot, a lot, and especially that I want to make the best of my life. I'm young, my body is still healthy. I can do whatever I want. Yeah, I really want to make my dreams come true, live the fullest, be in the moment, enjoy every second that we're here because you never know when it's the last. And my grandfather was really lucky to almost get 80 years old and he lived a really good life. I'm thankful for that and that's such a big inspiration for me. So yeah, I will not talk too much about him right now. It's just part of life. I didn't know when to film this, but now I'm okay to film this. I am currently in the house of my friend. It's really nice. It's really close to Amsterdam and she is the sweetest. Look at this. She wrote here a note for myself that I can feel at home. She bought some pizza. She is so, so sweet. I love her so much and I can stay in her house for the next three days because today it's Friday and I'm gonna fly back this Monday from Amsterdam back home to Bali, which is sometimes sad to leave your family behind, but I miss my home. I miss Bali. I miss the people. I miss the food. I miss my life. I miss everything about it. It's maybe a little bit weird the beginning of this video, but I love to make videos and sharing my life online and this is part of it as well. The last two weeks I almost didn't do anything. I spent a lot of time with family, but it's time to move on. So now let's watch my Amsterdam adventure. I'm gonna go to a vintage market. I spent some time with a friend of mine, Hanna, that I know from school. It's really funny because she is not used to speaking English and to vlog. So I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. This was my little update here. And one more thing, I actually wanted to go to Java and then by the end of the year to Nepal, but I don't know when I will be able to go to Java because I had to go really unexpected back to the Netherlands, of course, and I don't know exactly how everything is gonna go, but I still want to go to Java. I can't wait for it, but I don't know if I can still make it this year. All the India videos are done. I loved it so much, but I learned a lot, a lot, a lot about making videos, editing, everything that comes with it. Like you're only watching this, but there's a lot of work behind it. And I finally found an amazing amazing editor and I love her so much. So from now on, if I record videos, I will upload everything way faster. Yeah, the Zumba videos are gonna start soon. They are my favorite videos I ever, ever made. I can't wait for it. There are gonna be three videos. I love it so much. So enjoy watching this video. Let's share some love here in the comments. Hey guys! <laughs> you might think, where are you and who is this? Well, this is Hanna. <laughs> we met at school actually. We Morgan. went to the same school. Morgan? Like seven years ago. Seven years. Wow. And we're now on the way to Amsterdam because we're gonna stay in Amsterdam for me a few nights and you one night. And we're gonna go to a vintage market tomorrow, which is my favorite thing to do. That's our plan. I'm gonna bring you guys this weekend in Amsterdam and this Monday I'm gonna fly back where I'm really excited about. I cannot wait to be back in Bali and in my own house. But I'm making the best of my time here still. We're in the car already for like one hour because we almost went to Rotterdam. Yes, I made the wrong exit. So, uh, <laughs> well, it's uh, supposed to be an hour and uh, we're already an hour in the car and still 15 minutes. And look at this car. By the way, this is the highway in the Netherlands. It's always an, uh, a, wind, wind a windmill. A windmill. I think that's called like that. A molen. Typical Dutch. 
And this car is so cool, it's like all electric. Okay, so we delivered all my stuff to Irene's house. That's the place where I'm gonna sleep tonight. And I'm wearing her jacket, look how cute. And I just realized I have my Insta360 with me, so I'm gonna make some cool shots today in Amsterdam. So yeah, now we have to drive for like 10 minutes to the next spot where she's gonna sleep. And then uh, we're gonna go to the city center and maybe eat some lunch or something. Definitely. Or breakfast. So we are now in Amsterdam South and this is the building. It's called the Atrium. And here, as you can see in Amsterdam South, there are many big buildings. Oh, there's a, there's a supermarket now. This is new. But I used to work in this building for almost one year every day. And here, this was the entrance for my bicycle. And I don't know if you guys know, but I was a waitress there, like a host. So all the clients came to me and I had to welcome them and give them a coffee. That's so nice to see all those memories. I brought my Insta360, so I'm holding it now. I'm gonna show you guys how Amsterdam looks here. This is the famous museum square. It's a Friday, it's not so busy, but it's beautiful. The weather is nice. Yeah, normally it's way more crowded. But it's a holiday, so a lot of uh, Dutchies are on holiday. Yeah. And not in Amsterdam. No, they're all in Spain. Spain, or Bali. Italy, <laughs> Bali. Look, as you can see now, on the right side, there is the big museum with all the famous paintings. Albert Heijn is a typical Dutch supermarket, which you can see over here now. Many bicycles, which is really normal for us. Oh, and this is a museum. And this is inspired to look like a bathtub. It's the modern art museum. But as you can see, there are many stores here, like all good brands, you know? And here on the right side, there is a really big hotel. <laughs> we made it to the kennels. What do you guys think of Amsterdam so far? Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious. Would you like to live here? Wow, so I just turned off the camera and <laughs> so many people were angry and they were all shouting and horning. Horning, I don't know if that's a word to us because there was the car and he didn't move and we couldn't pass by. But we're now in the middle of the center of Amsterdam. And here is Hannah. She's gonna go upstairs now to bring her stuff because she can sleep at a friend of hers. So we have to wait for that now. And I'm here in the car alone and it's not legal to stand here in the middle of the center but i think everything is gonna be fine and then we're gonna see amsterdam i'm so happy about it fun fact i used to live in amsterdam for like two years or something and i loved it i loved everything about it okay look at this we just passed by the car is over there now and here it's written free and look there's so many things and this thing as well it's so beautiful this is so random and look as you can see here we're in the middle of the kennels She's like, are you gonna help me or not? <laughs> we have lunch. Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> we are done with our lunch and we're now at Amsterdam Noord. And this is the pond. It's like the boat to go to the central station. We're not running, but we're walking fast because now you can see that everyone is going on top of the boat already. So we're gonna go to the center of Amsterdam. Yay! And if you're ever going to Amsterdam, this is a really fun activity to explore it's, the it's north. It's free, so it's... Uh... It's free and it's like 10 minutes and then you're at the central station. So I highly recommend to go here. gonna get a present for her mom. We arrived at the Dom here in Amsterdam. Wow, look, I don't know what's going on. It's so busy. Okay, so we entered. Normally it's not like this. <laughs> We're now on the way to the supermarket, Albert Heijn, as you can see here. The one and only Dutch supermarket. And there is the gay pride. That's why there is the whole 
like festival situation on the dump. Yeah, this is the situation right now. We are in a clothing store and we both tried some things. <laughs> and nothing is nice. Some things are nice, but it's not like a yes, you know. But the thing is, we're sitting here because we're so tired. I can't even and it's like six o'clock and we still need two more hours until the reservation for dining. And we're gonna eat fondue. Fondue? Fondue? It's That's melted cheese. <laughs> with bread and veggies and everything. It's typical Dutch and I actually never had it. So I'm curious about it. Weird? Weird that you never had it. I mean, you live like cheese comes out of your pores. <laughs> That's why my skin tone is yellow. <laughs> hey, yours is red. <laughs> yeah, because I eat, also I eat the tomato cheese. <laughs> We are done with shopping and now we're gonna roll through Amsterdam to the restaurant where we made a reservation and it's like melted cheese with bread and veggies and everything. Oh, it's not Dutch, it's from Switzerland. I think the cheese fondue is originally from Switzerland. Here are all the typical kennel houses from Amsterdam. Look how cozy it is. I love Amsterdam. We have arrived! Look at this! So this is the Dutch cheese fondue. We chose the Dutch one with bread and veggies. We're sitting here in front of all the cans. Mm. This is good. Is it hot? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Lekker, eh? Good, eh? <laughs> this is my first time ever, but I love it. I want to try with the grape. Cauliflower? Cauliflower. Cauliflower? Yeah. I love it. Okay, we're gonna enjoy this. See you later. Okay, so how do you rate this food out of 10? Okay, it was um, I would say an, uh, it was uh, pretty good. So it is a 9 out of 10. I'm never giving a 10 because always it can always be better. I will give it a 9 out of 10 as well. I loved it. Especially the pickles and the, the grapes. <laughs> yum yum! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're going for ice cream and then we are going um, to our different uh, homes and tomorrow we meet again, so uh, see you guys. Oh. Okay, bye! <laughs> uh, who's stopping here? We're on the way to the ice cream place, it's called Ijskuipje, that's Dutch and it's a really famous one and they have really nice gelato and everything. Here, it's over there. Yes, I see it. Cute! Look at this, there's so many flavors. And this is all gelato, like fruit flavors. What flavor do you have? Hazelnut. And uh, you? And what uh, flavor do you uh, have got? I have got the flavor. Chocolate cookies. I think most of you know, but over there, not there, but over there, there is a coffee shop. Coffee shops in the Netherlands, they don't sell coffee or sometimes they do sell coffee, but you can buy wheat and joints and hush and like mushrooms. Like, yeah, like soft drugs. Yeah, I know. But in the Netherlands, you can just buy it. You can just go to the coffee it. shop, get it. You can smoke inside, you can go to the park. You can, can you smoke it on the streets? I think it's not legal, but everyone does it, especially in Amsterdam. In Amsterdam, you can do it, but in the rest of the Netherlands, I don't know. That's the misconception that many people have about Dutch people, that we always do those things, but we don't. Good morning! I am getting ready. I'm doing my makeup as you can see. I have to leave in 15 minutes because today I am gonna go to a vintage market which I love so much. So I cannot wait. And this is one of the things that I really really miss when I'm not in the Netherlands. It's like a vintage market and everyone can sell their things there. Most of the time I buy clothes because people are just selling their old things. Like I could also stand there and sell my old things. Which I really want to do but it's always fully booked to be a seller. So maybe when I'm come back because this time it was really spontaneous but I love it so much it's called Eihalle it's located in Amsterdam Noord so we have to go with the pond like a small boat the same as we did yesterday so I actually cannot wait to go there I'm a little bit late I slept here in Irene her house and I slept so good I really really love this house okay makeup is done I have to leave in five minutes and I still need to change my outfit and one of the things i get asked so many times don't mind my hair but i always put like some light eyeshadow i actually use this one like a white pencil in the corner of my eye and 
people always love it and that's my secret that no one knows okay now everyone knows it this is all my mess this is the box that i'm gonna ship later i need to organize everything and actually i have a layover in doha for 18 hours i'm gonna explore doha as well and i'm gonna make a video about it so yeah okay i'm gonna get ready because i'm talking way too long i'm ready i'm wearing a green shirt and a white top but it's actually so cold in the netherlands i'm not used to this weather anymore and i don't even have a jacket so actually i had my shirt as from yesterday as a jacket but i think that it's better if i wear irene her jacket again thank you irene if you ever see this then i have my bag i love this bag because my camera and everything fits inside and then here i have a really big bag where i can put all my clothes in that i'm gonna buy okay i think it's time to go let's turn off the light let's go to the eye holler wow it's been a while i'm so so excited <laughs> the central station and I'm gonna walk to the back now because there I can take the ferry again like yesterday I have arrived this is Amsterdam North and as you can see here on the right is the market this is one of the biggest vintage markets from whole Europe so it's quite big morning if you buy a ticket online you can just press buy are you excited I'm so excited. <laughs> Me too, I'm really excited. Thank you. We are now in the market and I already bought some things, but it's actually not so busy and not everything is full. So it's really quiet and chill and I love it. Yeah, I don't want to film everyone just right in front of their face because of privacy. In the Netherlands it's a bit more difficult than in Bali. But it's really, really nice. I got some really good deals already. Yeah, I will show you some shots how it looks like here. Time for a little break, and this is the typical Dutch snack. Yeah. Are you gonna get poffertjes? Yeah. <laughs> this is the Dutch street food, actually. Yeah. It's my yeah. Okay, so we have a little break. I have fries with mayonnaise. It's under here. And Hannah has poffertjes. And I bought so many things already. This whole bag is full with new clothes. What do we guys think of this one? I think it's really cute and it's yellow. It's getting really windy now, but look at this. You can even try it here. I've never seen this before. But it's so cool and smart. I really love this one. So beautiful. And look here, it's next to the water as you can see and the central station is over there actually it's gonna rain in like two hours so um, i think we will be done before it starts to rain i just tried a trouser but it doesn't fit it's too short but you cannot really try here so there were two really sweet girls and they helped me with a blanket so no one could see me <laughs> and now i'm wearing my shoes again i think it's almost 12 and in one hour it's gonna rain oh it's 12 30 already we're almost done actually that's so sad i used to go here so many times when i was younger this is actually the place where i tried it just behind all the cars 
it is time to go again. It starts to rain, so it's the right time because we're done now. I have a whole bag. Hannah also has a few things. And now it's time to go back, so... Uh, oh, and it's my uh, goodbye for Rio. Oh, yeah. Because I'm leaving, Janine. Did you guys like Hannah? This is her Insta. <laughs> oh, I have an open Insta account since like maybe one month. Is it open now? It's open. So people can follow her. Okay, so I'm gonna leave you guys. <laughs> you. See you next time. See you next time, maybe in two years or something. <laughs> Yeah, see you in again. Look, this is a typical store in Amsterdam. It is time to leave the center and go back to the main trail. So we're gonna go down here. This is next to Dam Square. And it actually just started to rain, so I'm perfectly on time. If you're going to Amsterdam and it doesn't rain, you didn't experience the full Amsterdam experience. I am on the way to the supermarket because I want to make some tiramisu for the mom of Irena where I'm staying. So I'm gonna go to the supermarket and then I'm gonna go with Ram back to her house and start packing to go back to Bali. This is the building where I used to work here in the restaurant downstairs for almost one year before I moved back to Bali. I used to work here in the outside area as well. Hello, it's a little bit later. I made tiramisu. I didn't film it because I didn't know what I was doing. I was just watching a TikTok about it. So I just copied a recipe but i don't know if it's good or not because i think the whipped cream didn't turn out well but let's see that tomorrow i did a quick outfit change because i'm gonna walk this is actually irena's outfit because i'm in her house and this is her sweater and i'm just wearing comfy clothes because i don't know why but i'm just so tired the last days i actually cannot wait to go back to bali i'm really really happy to be here but it was just so hectic my time here and also in the vintage market this morning the ayala it's so hectic like there's so many people i'm not used to that anymore especially not after the two last weeks which were really busy and chaotic it's almost 7 30 and the sun sets in the netherlands at 9 30 right now that's actually so funny in bali every day the sun is setting at 5 at 6 30 and here in the summer it's 10 in the evening and in the winter it's even 4 in the afternoon like it's so crazy there's a, a big big time difference between the sunsets and sunrises okay now it's time to go i'm gonna turn off all the light i need to take the key and i'm gonna walk outside and listen to a podcast i think Hello everyone, it is Monday morning, I'm flying back to Bali today, I can't wait. <laughs> I just came out of the shower, I am packing all my stuff over here, I'm not gonna bring the box, but my backpack is here. And another backpack, I have so many things, I didn't film anything anymore yesterday, because I had some really nice time with Irene, a friend of mine, we went to her parents house and I tried Filipino food, it was really really good. And I didn't film anything, because I was just enjoying the moment, so that's what I did yesterday but i'm gonna end this video now i hope you liked it it's something different me in amsterdam it was my first video in the netherlands i think so i hope you liked it i want to thank you so much for watching if you liked it let me know in the comments and let me know what you want to see next as well because i would love to go to the philippines together with irene yeah thank you so much for watching i'm trying to be positive i didn't go to the netherlands for a really happy reason but it's only a big motivation for me to make the best out of my life because you never know when this when it's the last so tell your loved ones that you love them spend some time with your family and really enjoy every second that's my advice what i learned from the last week so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye